Hi everyone, welcome to Mealworm Mondays by the Travel Bug Bite. Um, we're here to just show you kind of what we, um, our progress of uh, growing our own mealworms and uh, just kind of go through the process. Things we check is we go to our beetle and pupa drawer. Open it very carefully. And we check, first thing we check is up here, are there any pupae that have hatched into beetles? There are a few that have done so in kind of a deformed way. This one seems to be okay, so what I do is I put them down here and I make sure they're not upside down because they kind of act like turtles and can't get back up again. Uh, it looks like there aren't any other ones that are, um, that are al alive and, well, this one's kind of deformed. Uh, unfortunately, that one's probably going to die very soon. But I'll put it down here anyway, just to give it a chance. Um, this one right here is very, very dead. So um, what we will usually do is throw away the dead ones and um, uh, put any of the living ones down here. So all of these are fine. If you touch them, they'll squirm around a little bit. Um, they're pu pupae that will soon be beetles. And our beetles are all down here. Occasionally, we'll just clear out. We'll, we'll flip flip the ones that are upside down and then we'll clear out the uh, the dead ones so you can have a look right and um, under the way this works is that under this uh, beetle inlet tray you can lift it up and very carefully and underneath uh, well, there's a lot of the poop from the beetles, but amongst all of that is the eggs from all the beetles. They fall th through this perforated, um, uh, this perforated area here, and the eggs fall down, and that way when they hatch, they aren't disturbed by the beetles who would probably eat them. <laughs> so, once we're finished doing that, well, actually, I should probably leave this open. You're right. Take out the audio there. And then we leave that to the side and take out the, the um, drawers one by one. And then when we open up in here, you can see that several of the worms have already pupated. So they, um, there is a process that the hive uses to, um, once there's a lot of pupae, to put up here and to shake things around and do a crazy process that uh, sifts them out. but since we have time, we prefer to just do it by hand every day. And so, for example, I just take out this guy right here, pupa, and put it up here. Uh, the reason we like to do this every day is because if we leave these guys in there too long uh, and the mealworms are hungry, they will nibble the pupae, and that's kind of what leads to the deformed beetles. So that's four so far. Oops. The max we ever had in one day was like 76 or something like that, and um, in, in one tray. Uh, so you can have up to 100 or more, depending on your colony. I uh, see one more here. Put them over there. And we'll just uh, usually feed them with some oats. Sometimes we'll give them a little bit of uh, fruit, like uh, a banana peel or some carrots. I like to um, grind up carrots with a, uh, a cheese grater and put it in there. We're, we're, honestly, we're, we're very nice to our uh, mealworms. It's possible to do this with very little, uh, but we want them to grow up as fast as possible. It looks like there's no more pupae in this one, so I'll move on to the next tray. We just repeat this with every tray.